hey guys so today i want to show you how i achieved this eye look using the joanna k cosmetics eyeshadow palette which i love so much and i'm gonna take you step by step on how i did it i have an eyebrow tutorial so i will link it down below so you can see it so it's a very simple tutorial where i take you step by step on exactly how i do my eyebrows now today i'm gonna use some clear tape this clear tape i got it from miniso and uh, i think they still have it so just check them out and see if they have it because i want to have a very sharp winged eyeliner that's the kind of look i'm going for a nice sharp winged eye look and cello tape will really help us to achieve that look but if you are pro if you are a pro makeup artist you might skip this step and just do the wing eyeliner using your own hands so I'm using the gel eyeliner from Ingrot Cosmetics and uh, this Duraline, Duraline <laughs> liquid from also Ingrot Cosmetics. Now if you have any dried up gel eyeliner, just one drop of this will literally make your gel liner come back to life. Anything you have that has dried up, you add only one drop of it and it just becomes nice and soft and just goes back to being normal going in with this sigma e06 brush for my wing eyeliner it's a very very nice defined brush and now going in that into that gel eyeliner to now start drawing the wing so this step takes a bit of time especially if you are a beginner so just take your time and just create that wing uh, that's that, that line so this line will act as an outline it's a very good outline for the wing eyeliner so just draw a line and now make sure that line is the same level with your crease so now i'm joining that line with my crease where my crease begins so just going in slowly and don't worry if it looks messy you're going to clean it up later so just slowly draw it if it, if you mess up you can easily go over that line and uh, I'm trying to now to make it more more sharp at the corner there so just take your time with this process and uh, go in slowly and fill it up now that we are done with creating the outline it's just filling up filling up is easy just filling up the empty space and making sure you don't miss any spot just fill it up all the way in not all the way in just at the outer corner because you're gonna put on other shades later on doing the same case with the next eye just drawing a line and then connecting it and having that that kind of like a bold winged out eyeliner look <clears throat> and just making sure that you uh, blend it more and define the lines if you feel that anything you've missed out you can just go in and do some more blending and blending going to the Jonah K cosmetics eyeshadow palette finally <laughs> so now we're going to begin with a, this brown shade called chocolate because it's a nice tra transition shade if you're using dark colors I'm gonna go with a pencil brush from Morphe Cosmetics and I'm just gonna tap into that chocolate shade so I'm going to use that chocolate shade as my transition between the black uh, shade and whatever I'm gonna put in next so it kind of helps like uh, de to de de diffuse, diffuse or diffuse that black <laughs> uh, liner that we put there. Kind of to have like a gradient effect from dark to light to, to light, 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 you know. Just kind of like have that uh, effect not to, to make it so harsh. To remove any harsh lines created by the wing liner and to blend in those two shades together. So I'm just blending and blending and then going back to the Jonah K Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go into feminist now this green shade with a flat shader brush 
and as you know with the shimmer shades i always like go with my fix studio fix a uh, fix plus from mac my fix plus finishing spray from mac so i'm gonna just spray a bit of it on my brush wetting my brush with it to make that eyeshadow pop even more so just applying it all over just packing in that eyeshadow and uh, making sure I don't go above that line that I have created with the black eyeliner so and trying to blend it keep uh, kid over to just a little bit with the brown shade as well but with kind of just packing it and blending until I go until I get the desired pigment that I want and try to create a line using that eyeshadow shade as well so now to fill in that gap that has been left there we're gonna go into the shade smoky it's a nice charcoal gray kind of shade it will look as a very good transition for all those colors actually I'm just using it to blend all those like three shades together so going in, going into the green one into the brown into the black <laughs> so basically it's just going to use it just to blend in all those shades together so this process actually takes a bit of time so just take your time with it actually i had to edit out very uh, a few several parts because it's a video but it took a bit of time to get it to that level that i wanted it to get to the level of blending out it get to so going into the shade called glow getter now we're gonna put this into the inner corner just placing placing it <laughs> In the inner corner and also as I'm placing it I'm also making sure that I'm blending it with the green shade as well to have that smooth transition effect from the lightest shade to the green to the brown to the black you know just to have a nice gradient wing now we are going to pull off the bandage to rip off the bandage <laughs> but in it on a serious note just be do it slowly to make sure you don't end up pulling out your eyes <laughs> so you don't have a rip of your skin so as you can see it has created a very nice uh, sharp uh, wing so it's nice and sharp the way I wanted it now I already have an eyelash tutorial and uh, I'll link it down below now going into the primer i'm going to use this uh, as a moisturizer and primer the murad oil control mattifier if you have oily skin like me this is the best uh sunscreen out there one of the best and then using the benefit for professional primer which you guys have seen me using like every time but if you have big pores like me and oily skin this is perfect just perfect now for to have foundation i'm using the cat von d medium 62 foundation yeah this one one and a half pump about there dotting it on my skin and blending it it looks light right now but later on it will oxidize so if you're buying this foundation you better go a shade up because it really does oxidize later on and when i do the whole contouring and highlighting this look will all come together and it will all be one color so for now it looks like i look like a ghost but <laughs> i'm going to blend it all and bring back the color going with the two these two tight shape tips uh concealers the uh, medium tan sand and the shade deep as well going in with the deep one then later on putting on the light one on top of it just uh, to make it balanced out and listen to some good music as well <laughs> so going with a beauty blender and now we're going to blend in that concealer and using the real massive powder as i normally do so just blending and then instantly setting it 
that's how I like to do it and this powder gives me a very nice smooth finish in my under eye area doing the same with the other eye as well going in with the NC45 powder from MAC and putting it all over my face Gulen terracotta bronzer in the shade number five you can see already heat pan on that uh bronzer because i love it so much bronzing up the cheekbones the forehead just making sure that everything is well blended out and uh, going in with a little bit more <coughs> of that bronzer and then now we're going to chisel out the cheekbones from the front that side and now going to the nyx blush so it's called dusty rose putting a bit of it it's a very very beautiful blush it has a that's nice rosy kind of look and i love it so applying it to the upper of my cheeks and blending it and now wiping off the excess powder from our face using the jeffree star highlighter in the shade king tart to highlight my cheekbones so at the highest point of my cheeks so i'm going to place it and it's a very nice blinding highlighter and a little goes a long way and gives a nice blinding glow so if you want to glow nicely this is the best one and applying it to the eyebrow bone as well bridge of the nose cupid's bow as well and then tip of the nose okay now i think the look is done now we're gonna go into some setting spray because that's how the look has turned out now the skid never finishing setting spray just bathing in that setting spray all over then you see the jeffree star androgyny uh, lipstick it's a nice cool toned lipstick for my cool toned looks and i love it so much and removing the bandana now and getting a wig on and that's it guys that's the final look if you like this video give it a big th thumbs up and subscribe to my channel <laughs> see ya